A piston aircraft's turbocharger is a precision manufactured component that, when properly inspected and maintained, will reach TBO. Unfortunately, technicians frequently make incorrect assumptions about the condition of the turbocharger's bearing clearance, which can lead to premature system failure. The following is a short video reference on how to correctly inspect a Garrett-style AeroForce turbocharger for proper turbocharger wheel assembly bearing clearance. You will need the following tools or an indicator set to complete the bearing clearance inspection. Dial indicator, flex arm, locking plier, offset contact. You will also need a current copy of the Hartzell Engine Technologies Turbocharger Overhaul Manual 4006000-0000, which is available from Aircraft Technical Publishers. Carefully inspect the oil inlet and outlet ports on the unit's center housing for excessive sludge. With the turbocharger sitting securely on the bench, grasp the turbine and compressor wheel assembly on each end at the same time. Move the turbine and compressor wheel assembly from side to side and up and down to determine baseline axial play and baseline radial play. Carefully clean any residual oil or sludge from the oil outlet port. Using the components from the indicator set, Position the dial indicator through the oil outlet port so that it rests on the turbine wheel shaft assembly. Using both hands on the compressor and turbine wheels, apply downward pressure and zero the dial indicator. Using equal pressure on both wheels, pull the turbine and compressor wheel assembly up and record the movement's reading on the dial indicator. Slightly roll the turbine and compressor wheel assembly to verify the shaft has reached its full movement. Using equal pressure on both wheels, push the turbine and compressor wheel assembly down while slightly rolling the wheel and record the reading on the dial indicator. The reading should be the original zero indication. The reading obtained is the maximum journal bearing clearance. Using the indicator set, reposition the dial indicator so that it makes contact with the end of the turbine wheel. With the turbine wheel assembly moved towards the turbine side of the turbocharger, again zero the dial indicator. Slowly move the wheel assembly laterally to and from the turbine wheel side to ensure the maximum axial play has been achieved and read the dial indicator. The reading obtained is the maximum thrust bearing axial clearance. Compare the readings with the specific limits set in the most recent revision of Hartzell Engine Technologies Turbocharger Overhaul Manual. If the turbocharger bearing meets the clearance requirements, it can return to service following the aircraft's engine manufacturer's instructions. If it does not meet specifications, the unit must be repaired or replaced.